Hey everyone, Light487 here in a widescreen. <laughs> um, today I will be reviewing a product that I received free of charge for the purposes of review. Um, but of course, like I always do, um, I tell it how it is. If it's a good product, I'll tell you it's a good product. If it's a bad product, hey, I'll tell you it's a bad product. Um, basically, um, this is a dual coil cardamizer from vapebar.com.au um, it's the XL version of that um, the XL basically stands for extra large uh, just like it does with t-shirts um, it means that you can fit more uh, juice into your cardamizer which basically means that you can vape it for longer without having to refill it now most people are familiar with the Bulger um, uh, cardamizers or some people like to say Bogue or Boge or whatever but the, you know, obviously the, the correct pronunciation is Bogue. Um, there it is there, here's the, here's the XL, okay, there's the Bogue cardamizer just as a size comparison um, you can see you know it's, I don't know, it's about, about a centimetre longer um, but the actual width it's roughly the same width, um, which means that you can fit it onto uh, a Reva or Ego battery with the cone on. Um, so that's um, a real big plus, uh, in my opinion. Um, as I say, uh, it's got the 1.6 mil capacity. Um, it's got a soft top here, white top. I'll just remove that. Just get um, anything you like to remove it. Uh, as I say, it's a, a soft um, silicon top, uh, which means you can easily remove it and then get in here and refill it. Um, in there, it basically looks the same as a Bogger cardamizer or any you know, any of the standard sort of cardamizer types. There's a filler material in there, which is very similar to say the filler you'd find in a, a Zippo lighter, for example. Um, and um, you can fill them a variety of ways um, but once it's been filled and you're just going to top it up again um, the easiest way is to directly drip um, onto um, the actual filler so you just got to make sure that you don't um, put any in the middle tube if you do it's not a big deal just blow it out but um, it's best you know to try not to get it in there and you sort of hold it on an angle and sort of drip it down the side so it goes into the filler rather than into the middle bit. <coughs> anyway, they come um, empty, no juice in them at all, um, so you do need to fill them. Um, there's another couple of methods you can use. One is the condom fill method, which is basically you take the, um, the uh, they come with little caps on them like that, all the way, all the way on obviously. Um, so you take the cap off, you fill it with juice, and then you push this down um, and it basically forces juice into the cardamizer. Um, so that's one way. Another way is to take a blunt nose needle attached to a syringe and insert it down the sides of the cardamizer all the way in, as far as it will go, uh, and then you squirt a tiny bit in, move it up a little bit, about halfway, then squirt a little bit more, then up a little bit more, squirt a little bit more, and then maybe put it in the other side, all the way down and do the same thing. And that way you get an even saturation throughout the whole of the filler. But essentially, you know, uh, you'd you need to basically, you know, fill it up uh, with approximately 1.6 mil of juice. Anyway, so I've already done that. Uh, I've been using this one for about four days now, uh, still going strong. Um, now it's a dual coil uh, cardamizer, which basically means that um, there's in in a cardamizer or in an atomizer, uh, there's a little coil uh, of wire, and it's very similar to the old uh, incandescent um, light bulbs, how it's got the little uh, coil of wire which heats up and creates light. And that's basically how these these all these things work. Um, the coil heats up, um, sometimes red hot, um, and basically vaporizes or atomizes 
the um, the fluid, and then that creates that that mist that we uh, vape in. Um, so anyway, um, I've got it here attached to the Reva battery. Um, I'll just show you how it goes. So as you can see, there's a decent amount of vapor there. Um, if with the with the Reva and also with the Eco batteries, um, I do notice I need to sort of take uh, sort of a primer um, vape to get a better throat hit out of it. I'll just demonstrate what I mean. Yeah, so I sort of took a, took a draw, uh, like a half sort of draw, um, and then immediately took the proper sort of full draw, um, and that gives me a much better, warmer, um, more throat hit, more vapor, more more flavor um, than if I just do a normal one once off sort of draw. Um, so uh, uh, the reason being is it's got two coils in there that, that need to heat up. Um, so I guess in summer it wouldn't be such a big deal, but it's winter here, so it's uh, everything's very cold. Um, so yeah, you just need to basically prime it, which is not a big deal. Yeah, so as you can see. Okay, so I'll just uh, throw it on the ego just for the sake of um, argument. Um, there it is on my ego battery, my thousand milliamp battery. So pretty much the same performance. And if you do that double thing, really, really great vapor, really, really awesome. Um, now, I also have, as probably you all know, um, a five volt box mod. Um, it's five. It's got a five ten connection as well, um, so it can fit these as well. The beauty is, because it's got that extra power, that really powerful sort of um, output. You don't need to have that primer sort of um, draw beforehand. You can just immediately vape and it comes out nice and warm and lots of throat heat and lots, lots of flavor. Yeah, so that's great. I would say that um, the actual flavor level is um, perhaps a little bit less um, than a standard Volga uh, 2.0 cartomizer, um, but not to a great degree. Um, the flavor is quite satisfactory. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm liking them. Uh, not a problem at all. Yeah, so that's the uh, dual coil. So uh, it's the Smoke Tech or S M O K. So I guess it's Smock, Smock Tech um, X L dual coil cartomizer. Um, you can get them from vapebar.com.au. Um, they're currently selling them for one dollar ninety nine Australian each. Um, so generally, you can get them in, in a fire pack. You can get just one if you want, um, but most people will buy them in a fire pack. Um, they just come in a, a box like this, and they come uh, individually wrapped like this for obviously for hygiene purposes. Um, but yeah, yeah. I if you uh, like cardamizers um, or if 
if you've never tried a cardamizer, these are the good ones to start on. Um, and like I say, if you like cardamizers, definitely give these a try. Um, they're basically an evolution, I guess, on, on the existing cardamizers that are out there. Anyway, um, that's about it uh, on these. Um, you know, as you can see, they they work good. Um, they're a good product. <laughs> um, and I, as I say, I've been using these for this particular one uh, for about four days now, um, and um, it's still going strong. Whereas with the bogger ones, I noticed um, after anywhere from three to four days, that's it. You know, the flavour starts to go away. Um, they start to perform not as good. I mean, some people I know um, can get seven to ten days out of a bogger um, cardamizer. But me personally, I've only ever been able to get about three or four days out of them um, because you end up refilling them so much. So I guess that's the trick with this is because you don't have to refill it as much, um, it tends to last longer. Um, so but anyway, um, that's it for me. Um, thanks for watching. Um, I'll be back soon uh, with another review uh, from vapebar.com.au. Thanks for watching.